Guys, before the video starts, please ignore that I sound like a stupid biatch in this video. <laughs> that was so cringy. But I feel like I just sound so stuck up and just so, just not thoughtful at all of others in this video. So if you think I sound disrespectful at any point, like, please don't listen to me. I feel like I'm just so upset in this video because nothing went well today. I want you guys to know that it's not the end of the world and I'm just being stupid and literally being so self-absorbed so just ignore me that's all the disclaimers um you don't have to watch this if you don't want to hear anything more about biology paper too because i know a lot of you probably don't want to think about your exams once you've done them but i'm a person to dwell on things like this so just ignore me if you think i just sound disrespectful because i just wanted to discuss with you guys how this exam went and i just wanted to rant for my future self so that i know that i shouldn't expect a high grade in this exam literally what the hell was that that was literally the worst paper i've ever sat as some of you guys may know i do film my reactions and and it's uploaded onto the msc youtube channel but today although i sent my reaction in it wasn't used i don't know if there was some like complications because my phone's not the best so sometimes the video doesn't load i just felt like i really needed to rant about this paper because it's literally the worst one i've done so i just needed someone to rant to so i'm just switching on my camera and hopefully if you guys want to rant to about this paper even though some of you probably found it quite easy comment down below your thoughts because i thought it was probably the worst paper i've ever sat in my whole life not gonna lie and it was actually a gcse and it actually counted towards something and i literally sound like i'm about to cry because i literally am like i don't want to fail any of my gcse's i don't even want to get above a fail like i wanted to do well and now i know that i'm not going to do as well as i wanted to because um i was just sat in that exam i was just thinking oh it was the worst exam ever so i'll just tell you about how the day went so far we had english language paper two in the morning and i love english language so much you might think i'm a bit of a nerd for saying that but come on like i love english language i had so much to say and i'm just so happy with how it went as soon as i came out of english i started revising biology and i know that's quite quick and normally people like to talk about the exam or relax a little but i knew that i had to buckle down straight with biology because i know it's not my strongest subject it never has been i've never been good at science at all in my year 10 mocks i got a five and in my year 11 mocks i got a six and i know those aren't necessarily bad grades but compared to all my other grades i don't want to sound like a really stuck up person because i don't i like don't want to come across as that but in all of my other grades i never got that low apart from english literature year 11 mock but i like to think of that as an anomaly because i don't want to get a five in the real thing but anyway Back to the point, biology has literally always been my worst subject. For some reason, my target grade or prediction was an eight. I've never gone eight in my life. Well, I have. I got an eight in like one test in year 10, but I don't think that should be my target level because that made me think that I could actually get that. And that was, that was never going to happen. Let's be honest, I was never going to get an 8 in biology. So I was revising for the three hours that was between English language and biology. I had done so much revision in Easter, I already revised everything. And then I went over it again last night as well. But obviously I take history as well. I had seven exams this week. So I wasn't going to prioritise biology and do it every single evening, which would have been ideal. But um, I had history and you guys that take history will know there's so much content to learn. So really that took over the whole of my May half term because I couldn't... I couldn't think about anything else because history was literally taking over. That's the problem. My exams are all really crammed together. This week I had seven exams and I've had seven exams on another week as well. I just think it's ridiculous. I think they should definitely be spread out along two months because we don't really need July off when you think about it because no one else has July off. I'd rather have like two exams per week than seven in one week and an extra bit of the summer holiday because I just feel like my grades could have been so much better because everything that I revised in Easter I just completely forgot in this exam. I'm not going to lie. I actually felt kind of prepared when I walked into biology because I had been revising for so long and I'd just like done the checklist at the end of every topic and I knew well I thought I knew everything there was to know but I obviously didn't so I go into the exam I sit there literally everyone in the country does this I don't know why I'm acting like it's important in my life i'm not even taking it for a level i don't really know why i'm so like annoyed about this so i'm being really annoying because i've just been like feeling all sad this afternoon ever since i came out of that exam just thinking that i failed so yeah oh i didn't talk about paper one i thought I, to be honest i can't really remember paper one like i just remember axolotl and that's all i remember i don't know i can't remember thinking it went terribly hopefully i got okay in that one because i really need to 
do okay in that one if I want to actually pass biology. By the way, you don't have to watch this video because I know I'm being really annoying and I'm not normally like this, but I just needed to rant and I have no one else to rant to. And I don't know, maybe you guys would appreciate it if I found it hard as well because then there'll be lower grade boundaries because guys, I brought your grade boundaries down. I'm telling you now, I brought them down. So I open the first page and I do the first question. I do AQA higher, by the way. I don't do like double combined, I don't know what you call it, combined triple. I do like the sciences all set. Separately. So I do a biology GCSE and I do a chemistry GCSE. I don't do physics because I dropped that in year nine and I'm so happy that our school allowed us to do that because I've never been good at sciences. I opened the paper and there was that question on, it was like a calculation question about quadrats. I know that I got that question wrong because I divided by a thousand instead of timesing by a thousand so I got 0 0.014 and it was meant to be like 1400 don't count me on that because I don't actually know the answer because obviously the mark scheme hasn't been released but I thought I actually got that right but I wasn't so sure like it took me a while to actually do that question and because we had to use that answer in the next question I got that question wrong as well so the first two questions were wrong great start so I got onto the next page I can't remember the uh, the question but it completely threw me off so what did I do I went straight to the back of the test and did question eight in like the first 10 minutes I can't remember a single thing that I wrote for question eight it was probably a load of waffle because it's meant to be the hardest question but I found it the easiest for some reason at this point I was thinking okay this paper is kind of like a typical biology paper I've never found biology easy at all as I said before like oh I just I don't understand it because I revise so much but yeah I always get really like marks that I'm not happy with I really don't want to make it seem like a six is a bad mark because I'd be really happy with a six in like history I'd be so happy with a six it's just biology I just feel like I should be doing well in biology because it's just one of the core ones it's like maths English biology chemistry I just want to do well because they're the core ones the ones that universities look at and things like that and I really want to get into a good university I think that's kind of what makes me panic the most because I know that the university that I want to apply to will look at my GCSE grades and I know they'll judge me a lot on what they see I'm just going to be counting on maths and chemistry next week I want to do really well on them so that the university don't concentrate on this rubbish biology grade because I want them to look at the maths and chemistry grades and think that they're really good I'm just waffling on but I really want to talk about this test a question that really stood out to me was the one about kidney dialysis and kidney transplants they said to say the advantages of kidney transplants and when I saw that I was like because it's less expensive, because it's more convenient. Then after, underneath that question it said, don't talk about cost and don't talk about convenience. And I was literally like, what do you talk about? Like, what do they want from me? Do they want my money? What do they want? I don't know what to say. I ended up putting something weird about like infection and that's literally like, we didn't ever learn about anything about that. So I don't know why they put that question in because I swear in the textbook it just says cost and convenience. And I don't know if they even gave us anything else. And then there was that whole question about the eye. And they gave us like two pages. And I only filled like three lines. I'm not even joking. I just talked about the suspensory ligaments, the ciliary muscles and the lens. And I don't even know I got the lens the right way around. Because I couldn't remember the difference between short-sighted and long-sighted people. And guys, that question was 11 marks. All those sections. 11 marks. I probably only got about 1 out of 11. Which just makes my heart like drop. Like, uh oh my gosh and then there was that um four marker i think about quadrats and how to measure rectangular fields i know that probably should have been easy but i've just never been good at ecology so that question's just gone down the drain for me and then there was another question on oh what was it it was on um the light on the seedling and i thought my answer was really well i thought it was okay but then i looked back at it and it didn't even make any sense like so we were measuring how seed seedlings grow towards the light. I don't understand how you like measure that because it was like do an investigation to investigate how seedlings grow towards the light. But I was like thinking where well, you could just do like a light over here and a light over here and see the difference. But how do you measure how far the seedlings grow towards the light? I don't know, I'm probably being really stupid right now because there's probably a clear answer to that. And sorry I'm playing with my hair, I'm just really like, I think you can tell I'm proper like stressed out about this. And I don't normally film videos like these, like this was so spontaneous. I literally thought like five minutes ago I'm going to film this. I'm playing with my hair again, sorry. Um, I really needed to rant and I feel so... I'm smiling but I feel so stressed and so sad because in it, I was just sat there right in that exam thinking I failed biology and as soon as I came out that exam I searched up the grade boundaries from 2018 because I wanted to like assure myself that I wasn't going to fail but even then people think that the grade boundaries are going to go up which means that my mark is going to go down 
and I'm just really sad about that. I, in the exam hall, I was looking around. I thought everyone would be like this. I thought everyone would be like this or like looking around all worried. But I saw lots of people put their hand up for extra paper, which is a sign that they have a lot to say and that they know what they're talking about. And I saw a lot of people writing away, looking fine. Saw some people even smiling. And I was just sat there, literally, I felt like I was going to cry. Luckily, a lot of people actually found the test hard as well but then there were people that were like that was better than paper one and i don't see how in any way that was better than paper one even though i can't really remember paper one i know that that wasn't like amazing and i was kind of counting on paper two to go well so i could actually get my seven but now i think i'm more likely to get a four than a seven which i'm really 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 sad about and as you can understand we've all got mm, sedative is I don't even make these. <laughs> I just mixed up two words. Success is relative. I'm not even joking when I say that. Like, there can be people that fail their sciences, but they grow on to be, like, a famous actress because they're, like, so good at acting and, like, showing their feeling and dancing and singing. But, unfortunately, I don't have those talents. So I'm kind of counting on subjects like biology to get me where I need to be. And, of course, I'm not taking it for A-level. I'm not taking anything related to biology for A-level. It's just going to look bad on my personal statement if I get a bad grade. I need to stop thinking about this because results day is literally in two months, like, almost three months. It's, like, in just under three months. So if I keep thinking about this, I'm not going to have a good summer. I'm not going to have a good time at NCS or prom. I'm just so upset, and I don't know why I'm smiling so much. I feel like I should be crying right now. It's half... Oh, voice crack. It's half past eight on a Friday night. So I'm going to try and forget about this exam. Now that I've ranted about it to you, I'm just going to have a Netflix night with my cat. With my beautiful cat. <laughs> she loves me really i thought of like backup jobs in my head i'm so weird so like every time a gcse exam goes badly of course none of them have gone as badly as that one but i'm thinking backup job i could be a youtuber i could be a secret shopper i could work at morrison's and there's nothing wrong with that i actually might start working at morrison's in the holidays to earn a bit of money and i really need to stop thinking about biology and if you clicked on this video expecting a rant so that you could rant so that I could rant some more and that you could rant some more try and forget about it that's what I'm going to try and do even though I've literally got a feeling in my ow she's biting me I've literally got a feeling in my chest that that went so badly another reason why I'm making this video is because I don't want to be disappointed on GCSE results day. I don't want to be one of those people that expect to get A's and A's stars. Well, 7s, 8s and 9s. I've got to stop saying the A's because they don't exist anymore apparently for GCSE. And I want to film this video so that I don't create a fantasy image in my mind that it went amazingly and I don't want to be there on results day thinking I'm going to get all 7s, 8s and 9s because now I know that I'm not. And that's okay. But I just want to have that in my head and bear that in mind when I'm opening that envelope when I'm getting my results out. I probably didn't do as well as I hoped in this exam. I probably got maybe a five in this exam or even a four. But hopefully I pass because if I fail, I'm definitely going to retake it in November. Guys, concentrate on prom. You guys probably all have a prom this year. Concentrate on your holiday. Concentrate on just relaxing all day every day for about three months because that's coming very soon in a couple of weeks actually. I've only got two more exams to go. You guys probably have... Um, about that same amount to go as well summer's coming and we've got to forget about these exams and basically just ignore everything that i just said because it's just a rant to tell my future self so don't dwell on the past like i'm doing you'll be fine i had a really long silence but whatever okay 